I hope everyone's having a great morning, night, afternoon, whatever it may be. You are now tuned in to Wise and Up TV. I am your host, the one and only Wise and Up, aka you got BKA J the Giant Slayer. Chilling here tonight about to do a quick video on Sanchu Inu Finance. I'm also going to do a update on the dog park as well as do a review of the wolf date that just came out earlier today and that is going to consist of the myth of Sanchu manga the Sanchu gaming Minecraft and there's a couple of hidden messages that I think they put into the wolf date that I want to point out to you guys that I think were more exciting than the actual updates that were mentioned verbally so if that sounds interesting to you please hit that like smash the subscribe we're trying to get to 100 subscribers so if you've been watching this channel or if this is your first time watching this channel please hit the subscribe and why not go ahead and ring that notification bell without further ado let's jump right into the video <laughs> So guys, before we get into the actual dog park update, let me jump into the price of Sanchu Inu because I think it's very important to look at the fact that this thing has been holding steadily. And let's just say 300. This isn't to Satoshi's or anything of that like that. I'm going to cover that uh, after this because that is something I want to uh, take want you guys to take note of as well is the price is actually not even reflecting one Satoshi but let's just say 300 so it's been at this 300 range for quite some time now which I think it's impressive considering the fact that the market in general has been declining and overall market cap is pretty low considering the fact that we were almost at two trillion dollars about a month ago one thing I want you guys to take a look at right here on the chart is that it exploded up in price, but this is USD price. If we go down to the bottom here, we click the BTC and we show the BTC price, it is on the floor. It has not moved. It has not gone anywhere. With that being said, when it actually starts to move from one BTC up, it will be exponential. And the highest it has been is what is about 4 BTC, which isn't anything at all. So 1 BTC to 4 BTC, guys, is already a 4 times gain, 400%. 5, 5 times 500%. So out of 10 BTC, when this gets to 10 BTC, we're looking at a 1,000% gain already in Sanshu just at that price point alone. So don't let this fool you about what's going on here when nothing has actually gone on in retrospect with the BTC price movement thus far. And that is what we really want to pay attention to because I'm not even cashing my crypto back into fiat. I don't want fiat. Fiat is inferior. I want the digital asset. I want the superior asset. I want the apex asset. I'm going to keep BTC, ETH, something of that nature who knows I'll, I'll keep shib over the damn dollar so i'm not even worried about the top price i want to worry about the bottom price when the bottom price starts moving that's when things are going to start getting extremely exciting so really quick let's go right into the the dog park give you guys an update on what's going on with the m fund token and things of that nature in here so there's another 32 days there's still 32 days left of farming if you want to get involved in that when those 32 days end i don't know what's going to happen with in fund guys i don't so this is not financial advice i am not a financial advisor so please do not buy or sell any digital asset according to what i say or write without doing your own due diligence that is very very important please do your own research everyone in this space is speculating that's for sure and no one is an expert when it comes down to where all this stuff is going so with that being said let's take a look at exactly what's going on with this infant token and what the state 
of this dog park smart contract platform is in at the moment so looking at the total value locked up we're still at three million we haven't moved anywhere it hasn't moved three million hasn't gone up hasn't gone down it has stabilized which i'm gonna say i'm gonna is good we're gonna take that as a plus it hasn't people aren't taking their their, their value out and the token is fairly new so people aren't really s seeing it and i wouldn't expect the value to be exploding up as far as how much is in is locked up secondly the m fund token price currently sitting at 0 0.0121 cent um hasn't moved from one cent since the time of my last video not really concerned about that um i'm happy that it hasn't gone below one cent if it goes below one cent that's going to start to become a bit concerning total supply 100 million we're looking at the circulating supply at 36 million now so we've gotten two more million pumped out of the protocol since the time of my last video the market cap of the m fund has gone up which i find that to be good that's exciting that's good to see that now the m fund market cap has gone to 440,000 um which is extremely low this isn't a even a 1 million dollar market cap on this token yet so the uh the exponential growth that this thing can see is is going to be insane so that's what you have going on with that there the pools are still pumping pretty pretty good the apy is dropping but it's still steadily high we're looking at 400 percent 700 percent 400 percent and thus things like that if you go into the pools where the staking is involved the staking is still at i think pretty good apr not insane you know where we're going over 100 but i mean 80 percent on your sancho is still good uh, akita is at uh 177 and kenu is at 295 i don't know who's involved in that project i don't haven't been on the telegram or seen the holders or anything so i don't know how big this thing is but that's pretty good apy that you're getting on that token there so the next thing that we're going to get into guys is the wolf date so if you're not following sanchu inu on twitter please do so follow the sanchu inu token page at send shoot token that's going to help the project grow the first thing i want to talk about on the wolf date is the the minecraft the sanchu gaming the minecraft so basically what they've done or what they said is it they 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 were almost complete and they've had to postpone it and they're going to add a, a couple more features that they think are going to be exciting and good and they're going to drop it in august so the good thing that came out of the update for the the sanchu gaming is that that we actually have a date for when it's going to be launched and what i like about this project in general is that when they give dates the deadlines are met and that is the most important thing to me is that when deadlines are met um it's it's huge it's huge credibility in, in, in my book and they've been meeting every single deadline so i don't see why they wouldn't meet this one so they they said that this thing is going to be ready in august i believe it and i'm not really necessarily excited about the minecraft gaming but it's exciting that this is one of the first uh, tokens to have gaming incorporated into it as for, i mean there are blockchain games but this is the first token to have this type of thing incorporated into it as far as with minecraft and there are a lot of people who do play minecraft minecraft is still popular amongst kids and now the kids if they do get into this particular server and they and they get a and it becomes a popular server well now people are actually oh oh uh earning a, a coin that is a real currency that can be transferred into dollars so why not play a game that you can actually make real money with i think that is pretty cool the second thing they talk about in the wolf date is the sanshu manga now they didn't really give a date for when the manga was going to come out um, they talked about the manga one thing i took away from the manga section of this is they just want to show you that they are in progression of it it is coming along they show some pages of it a little bit more progression of how far along they are with that particular 
uh, aspect of this token and I think that is a great aspect of this token because I personally like manga read mangas and mangas are very popular amongst uh, uh, many individuals and many groups of people so that's going to bring attention and is going to uh, build, help build the community so I'm, I'm going I'm going to buy the manga if it's viable hopefully they actually make a printable manga if it's digital that's gonna be cool but that will be really awesome if they actually if they come out with a printable copy of the manga I'll definitely purchase that and if you can purchase it in Sanchu which may be possible that is going to give utility even more utility to the token so next up, the next thing I want to talk about in the wolf date is the hidden messages that they put into this thing. There, there, there. There's more than one. There's more than two. Um, there, there's more probably than I noticed. But the two that I think are most are the most significant are the ones that I'm going to show you first, or only. So the first one. That I'm going to play this video and it's only going to be about five seconds. I want you to pay attention to the box. The box is going to come out and then the box is going to pop open. And there's going to be three tokens that they show when the box pops open. And they don't say anything. They just kind of let this play out in the, in the, in the middle of the, of the video. And it's just something you have to kind of pick up on. And if you don't, if you're not paying attention, you kind of it kind of just goes over your head. Because the first time I watched this wolf date, I didn't notice it to be honest for some reason. The second time I picked up on, I was like, oh shoot, okay. Because there's no words, so I I, I wasn't really paying attention to only what was being shown. And if you pay attention to what's being shown, there's some things that they don't speak about. Uh, so here's that first clip. Boom, and then and then that's all fast is, and they go on to talk about something else. Um, so what did we just see here? What did they just sh show? And what does this mean? The last time they showed a box, it was Kinu, and then Kinu was put into the dog park. So now that this box has been shown and it popped open, I think they're referring to the next three tokens that are going to be added to the dog park and we have Kishu, Shiba, Inu, and Hawk. Uh, these are both pretty popular or all three of these are pretty popular. Kishu has the strong community. Shiba has the strongest cryptocurrency community in cryptocurrency right now outside of probably Bitcoin and Ethereum to be honest. If you look at the holders, they're over 500,000 holders. That is not a joke. So to be able to get a partnership and be able to intermingle with that community is going to be huge guys so that is something to take note of the next thing that I want to show you guys in this whoop in this wolf date that they don't talk about and just kind of show you some visuals of is I'm, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm just gonna show it and then we'll talk about after we'll talk about it after I show it And that was it. So basically what they showed here was this little bot that comes out. When the bot comes out, they say, buy NFTs, buy merch with mFund. And that, and that goes by so fast, if you're not watching, you will not notice it. So they're adding NFTs to the platform and it looks like they're gonna be adding uh, merch as well and you're going to be able to buy nfts and merch with the m fund token so there is the utility for the m fund token right there ladies and gentlemen the m fund token will be a currency and it, it's going to go up when it's used to purchase things nfts merch and whatever else they figure up onto this platform that it that it's going to do 
So those are the first two use cases. I think that's exciting. That is huge. And they do not mention that in, in words. It's only through the visuals. So those are the two hidden updates that I found from watching the uh, Wolf Date. So guys, if you are not following Sanchu Inu, like I said, you need to follow this. Follow it at the San, at Sanchu Token and check out the Wolf Date for yourself. Let me know what you think about the Wolf Date in the comments below. If you see any hidden messages that you think were more important or just as important as as the ones that I were that I was able to spot out. Yeah, let me know. Comment below and let's keep the discussion going there. That's going to be it for the video today, guys. I appreciate every single one of you for watching. I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. Thank you all for the support. I cannot thank you uh, enough. Actually, this channel is growing exponentially fast. Once again, guys, have yourselves a great morning, night, afternoon, whatever it may be. I will see you on the next video. Peace. In two years, we will have decentralized exchanges where the exchange is running on 10 million devices, 10 million smartphones and, and pads all around the world. And it's constantly changing and fluid. You can't shut it down. When that happens, government regulations become meaningless because if you have a regulation or a law but there is no power to enforce it nobody pays attention so all the laws that are being passed now in Malta and I, and I agree with them that's great it will help us grow in two years time no one will pay attention to them because we will not have to that's the tragedy of what's happening governments will eventually have to accept the fact they will have to change